The Cambridge Blood and Marrow Transplant and Cell Therapy Programme is a comprehensive programme. Uh, it covers the whole of the east of England and we have an, an outreach service in Ipswich. Uh, we do autologous transplants, allergy art transplants, uh, unrelated CAR T cell therapy. Most recently, uh, we started a paediatric allergy transplant program. And we're also developing new and innovative therapies, uh, clinical trials, which allow that to be delivered to people locally. Here at CUH we have a large nursing team which includes clinical nurse specialists and over 100 inpatient and day case nurses. They support the patient from the beginning of the pathway um, during their inpatient admission to cell infusion, any post-transplant complications um, and then upon discharge. So we have um, a team of nine apheresis nurses and they will undertake all of our autologous um, stem cell collections and also um, our related donor collections. We have had some patient feedback around uh, the donor collections and that they found that pathway quite confusing. So on the basis of that and listening to our patients, we've implemented a donor nurse role where a nurse works um, across apheresis collecting the donor cells but also works alongside our clinical nurse specialists within BMT so that we've got that smooth, smooth pathway. The Cambridge Cellular Therapy Laboratory is a large laboratory that looks after the stem cell transplants for the whole of the East of England. We are the only regulated laboratory in the East of England that can cryopreserve cells for reinfusion. We look after the procurement of cells, the testing of cells, processing of cells, storage and handling of cells, but also the issue and distribution of cells to um, various different places across the world. The majority of our patient cohorts are patients that have been diagnosed with a haematological malignancy and that a stem cell transplant forms part of their treatment plan. We offer both an adult service and a paediatric service. For the paediatric service, we can provide cord blood transplants as well as bone marrow transplants, as well as peripheral blood stem collection as we do for the adult service. The bone marrow transplant program in the paediatric part of Cambridge Hospital is very new. Um, it was commissioned in 2022 and up to date we've done 15 bone marrow transplants for a variety of conditions, the majority of which are malignant, so for either high risk or relapsed refractory leukemias um, and non-malignant disease such as aplastic anemia. One of the most exciting things I think is the fact that there's a Cambridge Children's Hospital in development with plans to be open within the next few years. And the footprint of that hospital means that our bed space will expand and our number of transplant cubicles and spaces that are suitable for cellular therapy will be three times larger than it currently is. We're really interested and excited to be able to collaborate with other partners across the UK and the world, whether in an academic, international research collaboration or whether that's with pharmaceutical companies in order to be able to get these treatments into children more quickly and provide an excellent standard of care. One of the great advantages that we have here in Cambridge is our positioning on the Cambridge Biomedical Campus, which is the biggest such biomedical campus in Europe. And that brings together not only our service in the National Health Service to deliver the clinical part of the, our treatment, but also the university where we have the generation of potential new treatment for new targets. And then finally, a lot of potential industry partners ranging at all scales from smaller companies to large global companies like AstraZeneca, BioNTech. And it means that with these industry partners, we have all parts of the pipeline available, right from the very beginning where we conceive of a new target for a new therapy, take it through development and manufacture and clinical trials, and then potentially even spin out into scaling up with one of these large global companies should they choose to invest. In terms of where the service is going, I think the exciting things are the expansion of cell therapy services beyond haematology. We started to do it already with uh, uh, transplants for multiple sclerosis. We're also seeing uh, CAR T cell and IEC therapies for autoimmune diseases coming along and for non-haematological cancers. 
but actually what results in a really high quality service is the really functional team that we've got here. Everybody works really effectively together. They are a superb group of people and they result in the really good outcomes that we see in Cambridge. I was diagnosed back in 2010 uh, with AML. I had four chemo cycles then, then I was in permanent remission. Uh, but unfortunately, it relapsed back in 2017. But luckily, uh, I was given the opportunity, the option to go through a stem cell transplant. So my sister was the donor. The care and the support, the clinicians and the doctors, the treatment I got from here, uh, second to none. So that, I think, is, is highly commendable. I want to share one particular thing. Uh, coming down to this unit uh, to do my bone marrow. And I couldn't stop crying because I was so emotional, because I wasn't quite sure where my journey is going to lead. A doctor, who's a, who's a consultant, stopped by. I know she was very busy. She took me to a side room and she listened to my story and broke that down very gently for me to understand how successful these treatments are. Once again, giving that reassurance that things are going to work out for me. I'll take that to my heart. <laughs>